so I thought it was time to do Rosie's big girl video. So she has been very good. Um, but she is a bit strange because Michelle did tell me that she was uh, a bit dizzy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I, I feel, personally, I feel slightly behind with that. But it's just because we, we moved so fast in the groundwork and, you know, got on her within the first week. But then every stage I took up from then was um, just, just, she just didn't relate to the next tier of training. So she didn't take what she learned from the first, first of the groundwork up to the next stage. And that could have been anything from walking to then doing the trot and then the steering. And um, it's, she's just been quite funny, really. Um, and she just had a bit of a problem with forward and flies have been horrendous for her. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I got it. Love that. Um, so when the sun has come out, I've had to ride her early and then a bit late because when the sun does come out and she gets covered in flies, she just can't take it. And the first couple of rides was like that and it was such a nightmare because obviously, you know, put the first, first, the second, third ride on her and then she's just getting bitten to crap by flies and she started to sort of associate that with with the saddle on me on her back. So we have to sort of uh, be a bit clever with that. But, um, yeah, her forward is so good when she's loose in the field, like. Um, but when I uh, started getting on her forward, was really bad. She had the handbrake stuck on her all the time. So, um, but she was just holding a little bit of tension. Um, so I literally just saddle, I'd saddle her up, I'd get on her, and then we'd just walk a little bit and I'd get off. Because when I started, obviously, in the first stage of this couple of rides, don't want to use your legs too much to, you know, desensitise them to your legs. But also, they don't really know what they mean. Um, so you have to be careful you don't scare them either. So she's back in the bit now, because I did put her in the bit um, after about a week. And then again, it just put the handbrake. You know, every time I've, I've put a step forward with her, she's just took a step back. Um, and it's just been a bit of a bit of one of them. But I think she's just going to be one of them, but it's going to take quite a long time to soak in because she's a follower so she much rather you on the ground with her so whenever she's unsure she'll stop and she'll sort of turn her head and look at me as if to say like can you get off and help me <laughs> can you lead me through this but apart from that she's been really good and I think just when she you know I'm a bit of a slow learner on new things so once, but once I've generally got it I've got it so I'm hoping that's what she'll be like um because she's not naughty or silly or anything. She just sort of has this, like, brain freeze where she just freezes up and stops and it's just, like, looks at you as, like, oh, I really don't know what to do. So that's been quite quite fun to sort of train with, where, you know, I suppose... A few, I've had a few moments where I thought, well, maybe I should just, like, really get after her a little bit. But it just doesn't help them mentally, I, I don't think. I'd rather take the time, and I know Michelle would rather me take the time and get her confident um, with the aids. And, and someone on her back, because obviously Michelle's going to be riding and so is her daughter. So I can't put any, I don't want to do anything negative. Um, negative. And, and she's been so good, like she hasn't done anything naughty in the saddle. So I don't want to start putting pressure on her when she doesn't completely understand. For her then to be naughty, if that makes sense, just to get ahead of the game a bit more. So yeah, I've just been taking it easy. And, and this is her fourth week now, so she's really just so finally it's clicking in her head. So yeah, let's have a look at these videos and see how she does. So let's go back there, big yawn. Whoa, whoa. So when I ask her for her head, I want her to be looking at the head. So first of all, we need to get her attention. So I wanted to give to that bridle, give to the bridle. I just wait in and she's having a yawn. Good. That's okay. So she does hold a lot of tension. Well, she's not a lot now. She's but she does, when you first get on her, she holds tension on. At the beginning, she, she really screws her lips up. Um, and I'd have to get, send the head round sticking fingers in her mouth. It was that bad. Um, but she's a bit of an introvert, really. So, what all I want is... Uh, can I finish yawning? So, I want to pick her up. I want to give to the chin. There. Yes. I want a big yawn. Good girl. And then once she's given the chin to me, I want her to back up. So I'll loose my legs then to time, and I'm going to back, release every step. Every step. So that's nice. The head's down, because she was backing up with the head in the air. That's why I started to do this. So, welcome. Good girl, eh?
So I'm always aware when I'm in here with her because it is a bit windy. She doesn't like it up there. So I've just got that inside hand ready. But this is where I really need their attention. Like, oh, there's her attention. She's going to fall over that bloody thing. But things are going on up there. That she's, you know, can hear, but she can't see by the head. So whatever. So I'm just going to trot her around here. I'm going to keep that attention. So as soon as she looks over there, I'm just going to pick up on my inside line. She looks over there, I'm going to pick up on this end. I'm going to change direction. That's it. You want head lowered and just relaxing a little bit, but going forward. So then here's a great opportunity for me to just work my steering. Um, put some bend in her. She's going over to the pole. Go. Come on. She's going over to the pole, probably. That's okay. But let's pick up that truck. That's done. So I've got my inside hander. I might hold the horn a bit just to resist myself pulling on that outside line at the moment because this is her. I want her to go out. I don't want her to be silly. But she's just got to keep that truck for me. Yeah. Change direction. You want her out a little bit. Okay. That's it. Speaking out on that shoulder. Okay. Not to get used to this steering business. So I don't want my two hands on her at the moment. It's one hand at a time. Or I'm just going to put, put the handbrake on. Now she's looking at the hedge. Change direction. Change eye. So all I need to do is release her when she's been good. I've got my inside hand up. I've got my hand on the horn, but also <laughs> it's because I don't want to have to pull her on two hands. Okay. Two. Good girl. Good girl. Sticking out to the pony a bit. So just draw her up and let her go. Draw her up and let her go. She's been the hardest one to try. She wants to change direction, that's fine by me. I'm not trying to fight her, I'm never trying to fight her. I'm just trying to get that direction a bit better. Okay. She wants to go out here, that's good. It's good that she wants to go out here as long as she's not going to be silly. That's why when she gets, I don't mind a little bit faster, that's good. Good, a bit of release. So I'm giving release into her as long as she keeps her feet still. Good, she wants to go over here. Yeah, but we just got to watch her, don't scare herself from come running back here. Because she is a follower. Good. Good girl. Better. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So maybe we will work over here, but just in the water. Feel her confidence, because she's looking now for somewhere to rest. That's why she's not resting there, because I'm making a trot around where she wants to rest. Okay, so let's get her attention. So we're going to just use this for steering. There we go. This is better than yesterday. So I've got two hands a little bit on her, because she's just leaking out everywhere like that. So she's not coming with the shoulder there. I don't like how she, she's just flopping, leaking that, that shoulder carriage out. So I, now I can use a little bit of outside rain. But, you know, this is that better, so much better than yesterday, actually. But I've got to use those inside reins in conjunction on a time. Otherwise, at this stage, if I started using two reins too often, and she didn't really know what that meant, it's going to really piss her off. And so I know in the trot I've got to work a little bit more on the left. But that's why a lot of trotters, she goes a bit like, oh, a bit gangly and whatever. But then I'll... Oh, what I would like to do is work on some, some mind puzzles there so it gets her back thinking. And when she's thinking like that, no, listen. It. Okay. Come on then, trot on. Because if we haven't. So I can let her out straight. So basically, all I'm doing is. So this is where I need that 
outside leg on, but she's going a bit fast for me to uh, to stick to it. And I'll, then I'll bring her through here, change direction. There we go, I change my hand. This is her bad side, she doesn't like. <laughs> so again, when she relaxes into her jaw, which isn't quite yet, I can then start using it, sitting, sitting on her. And going a bit further with her. Okay, so change direction. Okay. But what I'm saying is I know she's not relaxing this jaw because once she's going a bit fast and her head's not coming down. When her head starts coming down, Um, then I can work her two handed a little bit and start fixing the shoulder leaking out. But at the moment I can't, she's not relaxing into it. So basically she hasn't tried enough <laughs> to relax into it. One, she is a little bit lazy, but also I just think because she holds attention, like I say, she's a bit of an introvert, um, you just got to watch. You know, I just, I, this needs to get slower and softer on the face for me. Um, so until that happens, I'm not going to be working anything else. But this, just getting her softer. It's getting a bit softer. Good girl. She just doesn't understand. She thinks I'll oh, we'll do a circle, a half circle, and then I'll stop. So I might try a little change of direction here in the middle. Good girl. Now this is a bad side now, and we are out in the open. So I'm going to come around here on this side, and I'm going to stop by that cone and rest her here. She does want to go over there, but again, we're sort of past now. We need to learn steering. But when I'm doing this, I'm doing, I'm giving, taking, giving, taking to the inside range. Get past this bit here. She wants to stuff out. Let's see where she wants to get to. She picks a place to rest. As long as it's not by money pay, I don't mind. But I don't want it of too much for the head to scare us off. Oh, the tire. Good mess. So I want her here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So where's my whoa? One goes up. Whoa. Okay. Good mess. But you see how her ears are all over the place. I know the flies are out. But that's on site. That's why I know she's not relaxing the trot. Because she's like, mm, mm. because she's a bit of an introvert, I would, you know, if she was relaxing the trot, I'd want to see a bit of a yawn now, or a little bit of a head down. But her ears are like everywhere, looking everywhere. I don't mind if, as long as I can get it back. See the head run up there, someone's doing some building work over there. Face now, I want a turn on the face, no feet. Thank you. Good girl. That's it, good mess. Turn on the face to the right, no face. Good mess. See, putting them in all these puzzles will just stop them, get them, get their attention back. Good. Now again, there, there, good mess. Now I'm going to ask her to back, she's in position, my legs are open, I'm going to wait for her, I'm going to widen just a little bit, I'm not pulling, I'm just holding. She's got to keep her head there, wait for her foot there. Watch. She's pulling a little. Oh, there we go. Just put a bit of pressure with that leg on. Good. There. There. One more. Piece it up. There you go. Good. That was pretty good. I know. I know, baby. So we'll have a little rest and a soap in for that. See if we can ask for that shoulder. So if you notice, ah, ba, 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 ba. Give me, give me quality here, and then you can stop. And push, push, there, push, 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 there, good. Good. I always ask for a step at a time, so then I can build those steps. Important is asking for four steps and doing them crap. I'm me dragging around more. Goodness. 
good mess. Just see if you do this for me. So I'm going to ask her. I know the flies. I know the flies. So I've got my outside leg on. There. There. Okay. Good mess. You can end it up. Good mess. Good mess. Good girl. Good, you are a hard cookie to crack. You are. Come on.